Okay, I've turned the, the whole cage over again just to get good access to this first bolt. I've got the ring spanner end on it and tapped it around. I admit I have just loosened it up before I put the film on, but you won't be able to do it by hand. Now the manual also suggests that when you pull this caliper out of the out of the cage you've got to get it off that disc and it's tight on that disc at the moment because of the pads. So what you should do is remove the pads. I've been spraying all this with easing oil. Try and make it easy. Good, that's moving. You've got to use any tool that's available to you to get those pins out, not causing any damage. There we go. This one. The other one goes the other way. Started to move. We're now exactly one hour into changing the discs and calipers on one side of the IRS, and I've managed to undo both of those bolts. You can see them there. There's not enough space to take them out. All you can do is pull them back and then lift them up and out with the caliper. Second one is way down inside there you can just see it there pulled back so that's a difficult job took me a few minutes for each one once i'd got the wire out and now we are ready to lift out that caliper i haven't managed yet to get the uh, the pads out but you can see that the caliper is loose and i'm going to try and pull it out mm. As you can see, the pads are still in the caliper. I managed to get the second pin out and it was completely bent. I'm not sure if that was my hammering because I only tapped it, but uh, they must be made of very soft stuff. Anyway, then I couldn't pull the pads out because uh, they have a little ledge that is caught on the bottom of the, uh, the disc, which is from wear. It was difficult to get them out. But anyway, as you can see, the caliper is half off now it up from underneath and there it is the caliper is out one hour and four minutes to get the caliper out I think you can see these tubes are all corroded here that's gonna be refurbished these are all going to be replaced with copper ones and then it's going to go back in. Once the caliper is out of the way, it should then be easy to slip off the disc. Yeah, there it is. You can see it's curving inwards back towards the differential. I'm going to replace that with the new one. Here is the new disc. You're going to have to make sure that where that mounts on the flange, that no dirt has fallen down there. So take the opportunity to clean that off so that it is mounted nice and true. Otherwise, the disc will run out. If you damaged anything, taking it off. It's going to cause more work. Hopefully you didn't. These holes that you can see in the disc 
after removing the calipers from a Series 1 E-Type. On those, the bolts pull out this way through the disc and then you can remove the caliper. On the Series 2, as you've just seen, the bolts are removed from the inside, pulled back a little bit, and then the caliper comes out. So that's what those are for. These discs will fit either a Series 1 or a Series 2. Okay, so that is the disc replaced. You've then got to re replace the caliper, bolt it up and wire it up. And then after that, you swing this round, put on the three shims that we had on this side and put those four nuts back on to put the drive shaft back on, back on to put the drive shaft back on. struggled with that so I was trying to put the disc on the wrong way around as I said to you it's got to go inwards towards the differential and it will go a lot better yeah, there we go okay now that's gonna come down once you've got the caliper in you're going to have to replace the uh, handbrake mechanism on the top. Make sure that's all running true and then try it before you tighten it all back up. Make sure that everything got no dirt behind it and it's running nice and true. So there we are. That's how to do the, the brakes and calipers. It was one hour and five minutes to disassemble one side. So you can see that's two hours and ten minutes on the two. And of course the first one took me a lot longer because I didn't know what I was doing. And there were no instructions on the internet, so I hope that helps you. My name is David Pengeli. Thanks for watching.